Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and today I have a memory planning process for you. I am planning for the week of August 23rd through the 29th. It was a really busy week for my family. We had the first week of school and my husband's 40th birthday. So I have a ton of pictures to include on the spread. I am planning on using mostly the Fresh Start sticker book. This is a teacher sticker book I love the colors. I think they are absolutely gorgeous for the beginning of a school year. So I'm excited to dive in. I've also pulled out a few papers from my stash that I thought would coordinate pretty well with the book. Other than that, I will link everything that I end up using down below. Otherwise, I'll put you guys on fast forward. Let's go. So I've been super inspired lately by planner layouts that kind of block off a section of the layout and use that as the main decorative part and then kind of have function everywhere else. And so I wanted to try a version of that idea in my memory planner. So what I'm doing is there is some faux washi tape that um, is in the Fresh Start sticker set and sticker book. And I'm gonna use that to kind of um, block off this middle section. You'll have to tell me. So I found out while doing this that really I can only put washi down from left to right, going from right to to left like was blowing my mind which is why you keep seeing me like turn the paper upside down it was so weird that it just wasn't working in my head and it might just be a weird like quirk of mine but let me know if that's if like you're used to putting washi down a certain way it just wasn't working for me coming like starting to the right and then going to the left it just worked better starting at the left and going to the right it's probably just one of those weird quirky things with me, but let me know if you've ever even noticed. And if you haven't noticed, try putting some washi down and going both ways and see which one is just a little bit more comfortable. So anyway, I'm using this faux washi tape to go around the edge of these middle boxes. And that is going to be the primary decorative section. I mean, this is a memory planner, so it's all kind of decorative, um, but that's where I'm gonna focus a lot of the stickers um, and bring some attention to the middle and then put the photos on the top and the bottom sections. I happen to really love it when the sticker books have these washi stickers. I know they're not real washi tape, but to me, it gives you a chance to kind of try a lot of different washi without having to invest in like a whole roll because I do like to change up my washi. So um, I really like it when it has these washi strips in it. So I accidentally pulled like a part of the sticker book that wasn't the actual sticker. I was pulling the background, which made me think I'll be able to cut this apart and use those skinnier pieces between the stickers as washi as well. So there's tons of options in this one book. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna take a look at my picture stack and kind of figure out what I want to go where. I always have some extra pictures, like I print out a bunch of pictures and then usually have a few extra. I just use them on my monthly layout or for different projects. So I'm seeing what will fit. Um, I generally like vertical pictures and it's so funny because I have changed since I've started memory planning and most of the boxes are oriented in the vertical fashion, I definitely take more vertical pictures. So it kind of, I guess, evolves with whatever I happen to be doing memory keeping wise. So that'll be my pictures. See how they're gonna be kind of oriented to the outside of the box. And I always love adding mats to my pictures. So I think it brings in just a little bit of color. It makes it feel more scrapbooky to me. I don't know. I just like how it pops the pictures up. I love the dimension a little bit that it adds. Not a ton of dimension. I mean, my memory planners do get thick because I do use paper on a regular basis, but um, it just allows me to bring in a little bit more of the color. And I'm really glad that I had some matching colors in my stash that go with this color scheme because it is a little bit of an unusual color scheme. It's like this kind of burnt red color. And then the yellow is not really a true mustard yellow. It feels a little bit darker, um, but my mustard yellow paper kind of goes well. And then the blues, there's a couple different blues in this pack. So there is a little bit of a brighter blue like what I'm using right there. And then there's this really, really dark blue that you see in the washi, um, which I didn't have a 
paper that matched that, but I don't mind the brighter blue too. And it definitely, it's like a take, a different take on primary colors, which I think is really nice. And then they throw in this like dusty rose pink color, um, which changes it up a lot. And it definitely has a fall feel to me, which of course is the beginning of um, school. And I just, I really liked the color scheme. Once I get my pictures matted, then I will go ahead and adhere all of them down. I've been trying recently to break outside the boxes a little bit more. So there's of course the vertical boxes that are a part of this layout. And it's one of the things that drew me to this layout for memory keeping just because it was so orderly. But I think it is nice to kind of break out of the boxes every now and then and to change it up and not have everything be so linear. And so most of my pictures here, I will put down kind of wonky or tilted um, you might say just to break it up a little bit to take up a little bit more space and it also helps if your pictures are not perfectly fitting in these uh, two by three boxes um, then putting them a little wonky or setting them slightly off center on purpose um, can be nice because then it's a design choice and not just an accident Okay, so once all of those are in place, then I get to do the fun part, which is decorating and pulling a bunch of stickers. So the idea is that most of the stickers are going to be in the middle and I'm going to spend a lot of time kind of flipping through the sticker book. It's intended for teachers. So there are some things in here that don't really make sense as far as memory planning, but you can still use a lot of the stickers um, for that purpose. So I like this piece that says, let's root for each other and watch each other grow. And the idea is I'm going to cut off the stickers. Now I don't have like a straight edge, so I was using my scissors, but I had already put it down and it ends up tearing my washi tape. Ah, but that's okay. I just cut off another piece of washi and put it over the top and you will never know the difference. Like I have this little piece. I'll just lay that down and trim it off and it's all fixed. And from this point forward, I will just cut my stickers before I lay them down because I don't have the straight edge and I'm not putting it on a piece of wax paper. So um, that happens. All right, so I'm looking for a phrase. I wanted a big phrase that would kind of go through the middle and I like the one that says, you got this because it kind of is fitting for both of the big events of the week. So first of all, the beginning of school, you're trying to encourage your kids, like you got this, you can do this. And then my husband turning 40, um, that's another big encouraging milestone. Um, so I thought that that was a good phrase to kind of cover both parts of the week. And I did end up cutting that sticker um, apart so that it could span both spreads. And I think it works nicely that way. I'm trying to decide if I want to add another phrase, but I decide I'm just going to keep with these kind of um, blobs for lack of a better term. They're kind of blob like. So I find this one that says, find your happy and I'm orienting it right over another mom and myself um, going out to brunch on the first day of school as a celebration, which is always fun to do. And I'm trying to figure out how I can add these um, kind of blobs in. I put the you got this in the middle and that's where I wanted it. But some of these don't fit quite right and I don't want them to cover up too much. So this one says every moment matters and that one fits nicely, even though part of it kind of comes down over the Y and the O, it's the clear part. So that'll be okay. Um, that shape matched the red shape perfectly. So I didn't want to use that one. So I'm finding another mustard yellow one. This one says we rise by lifting others. So that one is super cute. And I'm actually to the side putting off the pieces I'm trimming off because I'm going to be able to use those um, on other parts of the box. I'm just trying to get all the word parts in. So I'm seeing what will fit over the word this. That one will not. There's only a few that will. And I'm wanting to pick one that has some metallic to it. So this one does. Today is a good day to have a great day. Trimming it off right there. Again, saving the little extra pieces over to the side and orienting that right there. And it does fit over the word this pretty nicely. So I, this is one of those extra pieces. I was going to start putting those down, but then I remembered I wanted to use these pencils and I'm going to use the smaller pencils and they're just going to be kind of strewn about in the middle. That definitely brings in the school feel with the pencils um, and helps kind of distribute the color all around the page, which is nice. Again, I can cut these and use the ends on different sections because I want them to stop at the washi tape to make that look like the barrier that I intended it to look like. Um, so yeah, I'm just taking these and then once I'm done 
putting the pencils out, then I'll take a look at the extra pieces that I cut off of the blobs and kind of include those around the page. And it's funny, I was a little bit freaking out because I was running out of tiny pencils and did not realize there was a second page of tiny pencils in this book. So that worked out really well because I was nervous that I only had one little blue one and that it wouldn't like work well on this page, that I didn't have enough blue. So you can see putting in a few of these little pieces here and there. And then I realized, oh, oh, there's a little piece. There's something on that sticker. I'm trying to get it off before I put it down. And then I find my other page of pencils, which makes me super happy because I can kind of change up the colors just a little bit. Let me know what you think of the style with this like middle concentration. It's definitely different than things I've done in my memory planner before, but I'm kind of digging it. I like that it, that it changes it up. So some things I like about memory planning is that you can do it really predictably and you can do it really quick if you kind of use the same format each time, which I think is a huge time saver. So I am all about that. But I do like that there is room for creative freedom. So on weeks that you have a little bit more time or you're feeling just a little bit more inspired, you can change it up, which is always, always nice. All right. And once I'm done with the pencils, then I'm going to go to another kind of classic teaching icon, and that would be apples. So I find some apples in the book that I want to include around, I think, you know, maybe I'll start putting them in the middle, but you know what? I'll have pencils in the middle and a few little apple um, embellishments along the outside with some of those other pictures. I just couldn't resist putting more stickers on the page. I am definitely a more is more type person. So not all my stickers were going to be in the middle. It just didn't work like that. So that's okay. Putting a few more apples around the page. And then the last thing, last couple of things. So there's a lot of banner stickers in this particular book, which I happen to really dig. And banner stickers are a great way, um, especially when you're memory planning, a great way to include some little notes without having to save room to write. So I'm able to put these directly over the top of pictures. And they're things that say like, hello, weekend, bring on the week. They kind of help give a feel, give an emotion to to a picture without you having to write out all of the journaling for the picture. Um, like the one with me and the other mom says, be excited about everything, which we were because our kiddos were headed to school. Think happy, be happy. All of these great phrases that really kind of capture the emotion of a picture, which I really enjoy. So I'm going to use those kind of like all over the place. Um, on my pictures because I did not save a lot of room for journaling on this particular memory planner spread. Now, once I get those in place, I do want to add a little bit of decoration to the top left and I'll go with another one of those blobs just to bring some interest. I'm trying to figure out if I want to use the box stickers to add journaling, but it's just, it's going to, it's going to be too much. So put that back, take my attention to the top left, find a blob. It says happiness is found within. So I will put that up in the top left and then add a pencil for good measure just to include that theme. And then the last thing I'm going to do is add some journaling lines with a ruler. I used a different marker for my lines because I kind of wanted blue and it did not work so well. So I'm kind of not pleased with how the lines came out, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect for you to enjoy the process. And I'm still super glad that all of these photos are documented, even if I don't like how the journaling part came out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I have linked supplies down below in the description box, so you can head down there if you want to find out about any of the things that I used in this video. A special shout out to my scrappy YouTube members. Thank you so much for all of your support. If you are interested in finding out about some of the perks that you can receive as a scrappy YouTube member, then you can click the join button or there is a link to membership details in the description box. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always keep it creative.